Hello, hello. Welcome to this episode of the Rogers Radio Podcast. I am your host, Alyssa Rogers. We are at Your Stuff Consignment with Sylvia Josie. Thank you for letting us be here today. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yes, I can't wait to talk to you. And, you know, as you can see, happy fall. We are excited about fall coming. We're going to learn all of the things that Your Stuff Consignment has to offer here in Danville, Virginia. But first, I want to get to know you a little bit. Sure. And kind of what your background is. This store has been around a long time, and it's been amazing for the community. And I want to know, how did you get started? Okay, so we've been in business 31 years this month. Um, The idea started back in the 80s when I was attending Danville Community College, and I studied merchandising management. And one of our assignments was to create an imaginary business Mm -hmm. and come up with all the costs associated with doing the business and actually find out where you get a license, how much you pay for a license and all that. And I chose to do a consignment shop because the cost would be really low because the inventory is free. So I just did that to get my grade, my A grade, and I got (laughs) my A grade and I didn't think I'd ever really do it. It was just a school project. But 12 years later, I was like, hey, I'm tired of, you know, busting my butt for somebody yes. else. I'm going to open my own business and, and look at work you for myself. Yeah, it's been great. And you've given back to the community. We were just talking before we started recording uh, about the impact you've made on my life and you didn't even know it. Um, right. So, you know. When I was in school, Sylvia came and spoke to one of the seminars or classes that I was in and talked about your journey and um, how to market your business and how to be successful in business. And it has stuck with me. And that was about 2007. And it has stuck with me for that long. So I appreciate everything you do for the community as well because you're very active. Well, thank you. That was probably something organized by DCC. They like to use me as one of their success stories. So they are a success. (laughs) And and they invite me to do a lot of things. And I always enjoy doing that. And it's so good to hear that I actually had had an impact on somebody and affected them. Well, you did. (laughs) And I appreciate that. And you are continuously making an impact on multiple people uh, in our community and just really appreciate that. But I want to kind of get into the business side and and kind of what does it take? I, we're going to go, everyone watching, um, we're going to go around the store and see all the amazing things. And But I want to know, like, what goes into this and how do people come in and sell their stuff and just take us through? Okay. Some people get confused about what a consignment shop yes. is versus what a resale shop is. So a resale shop would be something like Plato's Closet where you go in and you sell your clothes. Mm -hmm. Um, They're going to give you the least that they can and try to sell it for the most that they can. And that's their business model. That's how they make money. Um, We do consignment, which means when we sell it, you get 40% of whatever we sell it for. And then you get your money after the item sells. So we have nothing invested in the item up front but we can give you more money because we don't invest in things that never sell. Like mm-hmm. Plato's Closet is going to give you less because a lot of what they buy is going to end up being torn mm-hmm. or have defects and or just be out of style and not mm-hmm. sell. Whereas when we sell item, when we don't sell items, there's no cost to us. So we can afford to give you that 40 percent on everything that sells. Yes. So that's how that works. The pay delay is, is the payoff. Yes. It's the long term. And I'm seeing a lot of name brand things. Everything is like new in here. If not, probably a lot of stuff still has tags on it. Oh, you wouldn't believe. I would say close to 50% of the items in here are still new with tags because people like to shop and they see a good buy and they buy it and then they don't use it. Yes. You know, or even on the internet, you know, they'll sit and order off a QVC, you know, and they'll never even open the packages and it all ends up in here. So we have terrific stuff. So even if you don't want to buy something used, you'd be amazed how many new things that we have in here. I believe it. And I mean, look at all the amazing things we're surrounded by right now. The home decor section, which I know all of you love that are watching, myself included. So this is our little fall section that we set up, our fall harvest section. Uh, We'll move back later into our Halloween and our Christmas departments because that's what time of year it is right now. And then we'll um, go over and take a peek at the uh, clothing. We have men's clothing and women's clothing. Oh, my gosh. Let's go look at this. 
everyone. You're going to want to come in here and get the good deals that I am seeing right now. Let's go take a look. All righty. Trick or treat. Fall is coming. Halloween's coming. The holidays are coming. And so we have a whole section here. Tell us about it. Right. This is one of our seasonal sections for Halloween. Now, as the season progresses and we get closer and closer, this is going to get bigger and bigger. Um, behind me, I've got Christmas. And I was just telling Alyssa that I have enough Christmas stuff in the back room that I'm going to bring out that'll fill half the store. <laughs> so if you haven't, dec you know, if you need some decorations, if you've just moved and you've let go of all your old decorations and want to start over, or if you got a new place, this is the place to come and decorate your house. And not just the decor, but we also sell small furniture too. Oh, uh, perfect. My motto is anything two women can pick up and fit in a minivan. So you're not going to find any really big stuff, but all the accent pieces, you know, shelves, side tables, chairs. We've got some really cute furniture pieces here. Oh my gosh, they need to come here and check it out. And you were just looking at our little price tag yes. here. And I was yes. saying, yeah, it's a fraction of the original price, you know, which a lot of these still have the original price mm -hmm. on them. But there's markdown dates on them. So this, if this is still here, like right now, this is... Uh, Five ninety nine. If this is still here after October first, it'll be four ninety nine after November first. So every you know every I month it, it goes down. Yes, I think it's so fantastic, and it's just upfront pricing, and it's a fraction of the cost if you were to go buy this right. at a large retail. But now store. you might not want to wait for the price to go down because it might not be here. Exactly, so you got to take that gamble. But still cheaper than going to the big box stores. Oh, you can get so much more. Everything here is based pretty much from um, one third to one half of what it would be new. Wow. Wow. You want to head over to clothes? Let's do it. Do you see what I see? All of these clothes. I am holding North Face, a brand new Kate Spade with tags from Nordstrom. I got a coach bag new with tags and I got a new balance puffer coat. I mean, this stuff is brand new. And I mean, in such great condition, tell us about everything you offer on this side of the store when it comes to clothes. Okay. Well, we have women's uh, from juniors on up to women's plus size. We have an awesome women's plus size department. It goes all the way up to a 5X. We have jeans. We have shirts, designer bags, um, coats, you name it. And on the other side, we have men's clothing. Yes. So you, the whole family can shop here. And the whole family. And... <laughs> I mean, we are here on a day, um, you're not open on Mondays, and so it's Monday right now, and I said, Sylvia, you sure you don't want to open, because I am about to buy everything in here, and um, it's just, I mean, this stuff is so nice, and so affordable. Well, Alyssa, I'll be glad to stay here while you shop. I've got some paperwork to do anyway, so you just shop to your heart's content. Um, be sure to check out our jewelry department when you're here. Yes. We have loads of jewelry, too. And tell us about the uh, perfumes, too, in the fragrance section. Okay. Hopefully, he'll get a shot at yes, that. Yes, for sure. But we have a lot of perfumes. Uh, a lot of them are new in packages, new in gift sets. People get gifts they don't want, and they bring them here and consign them. So if you like perfumes and you want something expensive but don't want to pay that right. champagne price, this is a place you'll find them. I, I see it. And jewelry and, you know, Kenny, he's going to get shots of everything. But, I mean, the shoes, the clothes, the bags, the coats, the everything, it is here for a fraction of the cost if you were to go to any other retail store. So oh, yeah. I didn't even mention the shoes. We've even got a whole boot department over here of nothing but boots. Oh my gosh. Like I am going shopping today, guys. And um, yeah, I, I'm just amazed at all of the amazing products you have in here, the amazing things that you're doing for the community. I appreciate it so much. And I know everyone watching and listening will too. Well, I, I hope you also get some people from South Boston over here to Danville to do some shopping and see what they've been missing. Yes, absolutely. And so going off of that, where can people find you? We're at 1083 Piney Forest Road. That's Business 29 in Danville. Uh, we're right at the Arnett Boulevard intersection, right next to Captain Cook, so you can have some seafood while you shop. Yes, absolutely. And so everyone, please check out this store. You will not be disappointed and bring your stuff in and sell it and make some money while you do it. That's right. And you can find out more about that on our website, yep. yourstuffconsignment.com. You can learn how to consign. If you want to see more of our merchandise, you can follow us on Instagram, Your Stuff Consignment, and you can follow us on Facebook, Your Stuff Consignment. Because you're posting stuff on there, right. right? We put pictures of the best stuff. There's no way we can put pictures right. of everything. But if we get in another Kate Spade, it'll go on social media. 
Yes, and sell quick. So you got to come in and get it because this stuff does not last long. So thank you for filling us in on kind of your story and everything that you're offering here at your stuff. And I just really appreciate you. Well, thank you for coming by and Absolutely. showing all your, your followers, yeah. you know, about our business. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Thank you everyone for watching and listening to this episode of the Rogers Radio Podcast. Be sure to rate, review, subscribe, come to your stuff consignment and check out Sylvia and all of the amazing things that she's doing. And we will talk to you next week.